good morning friends welcome to the session i hope you all are doing good so in today's part we will learn the single server infinite q length queuing model okay so this is the representation of the single server infinite q length model it is a candas notation you can see m slash m slash 1 colon slash infinite slash infinite so the first m represents the arrival rate that is lambda per r this followed the Poisson distribution. The second M represents the service state. Mu per R. This is exponential distribution. Here lambda is the number of people arriving into the system per R. And mu is the number of people being serviced per R into the system. The 1 represents the number of server. So here the value of C is 1. The first infinite represents the Q length in the system. And the second infinite represents the population into the system. So there are four basic parameters which we have to determine while we will solve the question. These four parameters are length of the system LS, length of the queue LQ which will depend on the length of the system, waiting time in the system WS and waiting time in the queue that is WQ. The WQ will depend on the value of WS. The probability of number of people into the system. We have to also calculate the number of people that are available into the system. The question can ask for 0 probability, 1 probability, 2 and n. So P0 represents the probability of 0 people into the system. P1 represents the probability of 1 people into the system. And Pn represents the probability of n number of people into the system. So we have to calculate all of these parameters. Now. We can calculate all these parameters using these formulas. So first we will calculate the probability parameter. The row represented by the ratio of arrival rate to the service rate. It is lambda by mu. Now all of the values of probability will depend on the value of rho. So if you have calculated the value of rho, you can easily calculate the probability of 0 people, 1 people, 2 people and people. Let me just tell you, if you want to drive these formulas, the link is given in the description box. The derivation has done there. You can go and check it. Probability of 0 people into the system P0 is equal to 1 minus rho. Probability of 1 people into the system P1 is equal to rho multiplied by 1 minus rho. Probability of 2 people into the system that is P2 equal to rho square 1 minus rho. Similarly, we can say probability of n people to the system pn is equal to rho g power n multiplied by 1 minus rho okay so you can easily calculate these values to calculate the length and waiting time into the system and in the queue here again if you have calculated the value of rho you can easily calculate the other values the length of the system ls can be calculated as rho by 1 minus rho the length of the queue will depend on the length of the system so it will be equal to ls minus lambda by mu. The waiting time in the system can be calculated as ls equal to lambda ws. So ws will be ls by lambda. The waiting time in q lq equal to lambda wq. So wq will be lambda q by lambda. So these two equations are known as Little's equation. Okay. So you can note down these equations. So in the next session, we will do a numerical to calculate all of these values. Thank you very much. Have a good day.